Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. Welcome back to another episode of Overzealous. If you're watching this video right now, that will mean that at some point during this video, I will be getting 99 construction. Because as I said in the previous one, I am not uploading another video until I get it. However, I did want to post this clip um, because we are about to get ourselves another level, which is actually going to put us at a nice milestone of a level, which I believe is 1900 total level. And if I go ahead and chop two logs, we will be getting ourselves, give it a little bit of a moment, a little bit anticlimactic, chop, chop, and we get ourselves 96 woodcutting, which is also going to give us 1900 total level. We are now 100 levels away from 2000 total levels on a Zaya Locked account, which is absolutely huge. I also want to mention in this clip, on a side note, for anyone that uses Runelite and uses XP trackers, for some reason, my XP trackers are not tracking my construction XP right now. So I actually have no idea what my XP rate is or how much XP I've done. I have no idea why it's doing it. It's tracking my woodcutting, it's tracking my magic, but it's not tracking my construction. Absolutely no idea why. If anyone has any idea as to why this might be happening, Feel free to leave it in the comments, although this video isn't going to go up for weeks, so I might have figured it out by then. But if you do have any idea, please do leave it in the comments just in case I haven't figured it out and maybe the problem persists. Or maybe it just goes away on its own. It would be nice for me to know why it was doing it in the first place. But anyway, yes, let's get on with this video. I need to get cracking. We need to get 99 construction. We have got a three level way to go. Not too far until 97, but I'm going to get on with it. Let's see you guys there. More planks, Mr. Frog. More planks, buddy. We got a long way to go. Can't complain. This is great for business. What a strange individual. So, it took me a moment to realize, but if you take a look at the cash stack right here, we have finally made it out of the green. We are now in the millions, not the 10 millions. It is a very nice sight to see, considering that has been a green cash stack for a very long time. And we are now at 9,986,000 GP. That is all we have left until we are 99 construction, which, by the way, I am 53k away from another level. So I'll see you there. Well, would you look at this? Not only am I going to get 99 in this video, but I'm also going to get another level in this clip. That is going to be 97 construction marble spiral staircase which i'm almost certain we cannot make because there is no stonemason in zaya unfortunately two more levels to go and we'll be finished wonderful jds and lentilman it has been a very long time since i recorded a clip on this account and it is taking me a very long time to do summer is a very busy time for me but i get to show you something special here so if we go ahead and make this we have hit ourselves 98 Construction. That means there is only one level left to get 99. Now, if only this was an easy feat. We've got 1,228,695 XP to go. This is going to take me over two weeks, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, with the amount I'm managing to get done at the moment, it is taking a very long time. And I really want to put this video out, so I'm trying to get this done so desperately. But yeah, it will be done soon. Uh, I will be having a party for it, although by the time you see this clip, it would have already happened, obviously. Uh, if you were at the party, thanks for coming. And uh, I, I don't know. I guess the only next level now is 97, and then the last level will be 99 construction. So let's get back to it. We'll get this done. Take me a couple of days to do this, but let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a fantastic clip. This is going to be the final, final woodcutting level of the grind. We need two more logs, one more, and that is going to get us 97 woodcutting. And we will not be getting any more levels with this construction grind. But don't worry, I will finish off 99 in the future. I promise you that at some point I will finish off the last two levels because that's going to bug me otherwise. But for the time being, this is all we're going to need now to get 99 construction. We've got 945,000 XP left to go. That's probably going to take me like another two weeks, knowing my rates. Hopefully I can do it within the next like 10 days if I can get enough time in. We'll see how it goes. Got ourselves another bird's egg. What do we get from this one? A regular nest with an apple seed. Great. I honestly have no idea what is going on here, but it does humor me. This guy has been following me and doing emotes for the last 10 minutes? What a world we live in. Uh, not sure what happened here. I just logged in and this is my screen. I might need to re-log to fix the- oh, never mind. Did it for me. Oh wow. Now I feel a bit bad for laughing at you. This is the same person from earlier, still has yet to type anything, but has now given me a bond. I really do appreciate the support, these bonds make it so much easier to produce long term content for you guys, so thank you. Hey, um, care to stop for a cup of- uh, no, okay then. Meep meep. Nope, not today. Not even gonna attempt it. Hello, JDs and Lanterman. Welcome to the final construction clip. It is about time we did this. We have 195 XP until level, and if the wiki hasn't lied to me, this is going to give, I think, 250 XP, and someone just killed a soldier underneath me. That was delightful. We've got ourselves the nails, we've got ourselves the planks, the hammer, the saw. We are ready to finally finish the most tedious 99 grind I'm probably ever going to do on this account, bar maybe crafting. I don't know, crafting is going to give me a lot of positives in other areas. But anyway, let's go ahead and build this stash unit to get 99 construction on the Zaire only UIM. And there we go. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone for showing up to the 99 construction party. What a run. It has taken a very long time. I do apologize for how long it's taken. Summer holidays are incredibly busy for me. I've not had enough time to play as much as I wanted to. We could build a whole bunch of stuff that we can't actually build because there's still no stonemason. But anyway, we can get ourselves a construction cape. So I'm going to take a nice leisurely stroll over to Hosidius and we'll get ourselves that cape. All right, we are finally here. We can finally, finally, finally get ourselves a decent cape. The only cape we could get before this was a stupid little highwayman cape. That yellow cape is going to be long gone now. It is time to buy ourselves a construction skill cape. And that is going to give us so many perks. Not only is it great stats, it's prayer bonus, and the teleport to house is going to be super useful because we have the portals in there. Everything is amazing about this. 99,000 coins. Let's buy the cape. The only cape you can get in Zaya, the only skill cape you can get in Zaya, and there we go. That is 99 construction complete. And as per tradition, let's do ourselves the skill cape emote. Look at that beauty. Obviously, you guys have seen me do 99 construction on Solus, but trust me, this was way, way worse. I'd have much rather done Mahogany Homes on this. But nonetheless, I do appreciate everyone being here for the party. We get to use this beautiful cape now to train our melee stats, which is next on the agenda. We will be grinding 99 attack. That'll give us 99 hit points fairly shortly. And then we'll go for 99 defense as well. That's going to be max melees. I will work on doing mage at some point. I've not quite settled on how I'm doing that just yet. And then all we need to do is prep some supplies, a few more herbal levels, and we'll be making our way towards raids. So not too much longer. I know I've said that a few times obviously in real life um things have got in the way but we will be making our way there fairly soon so there we go that is the construction grind completed onwards and upwards to better things so i've just gone and got my stuff i'm at the house portal and we're gonna have to say goodbye to the yellow cave that we have had for a very very long time 
We got this back in like episode seven? I don't know. It was a very early episode, but we don't need it anymore because we have this beautiful thing. So goodbye, yellow cape. You will be sorely missed. It's been a nice run. And it's dropped. We're never going to be wearing that ever again. Because this cape is just too nice. So I've just ended the stream. Everything's calmed down now. Um, but uh, the stream decided to troll me. Uh, I, well, I subjected myself to it, really. I set a sub goal for every five subs, uh, we do 50 Serachnus kills. Needless to say, we are now subjected to 300 Serachnus kills. So I will be doing them at some point. I mean, we need to train melee anyway. We'll get melee XP from doing Serachnus. And plus, I think you guys like to see the random drops I get from it. And we are going to try and hunt down the pet because that sounds pretty fun. But at the moment, I'm just going to go and sell off my air stuff. We are going to get ourselves all sorted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grow these snapdragons, finish off all these seeds because I only had like four of them anyway. And then I'm probably going to grow some irrits and qualms. I think what I'm also going to do is get myself a herb sack because that way I can just carry a small amount of irrits, qualms or whatever herbs I have. And that way uh, I can make potions without having to take up too much space. We'll only have to take up one inventory space with the herb sack. And that should make it a lot easier to do Serachnus because we'd have the one space here. Then we'd have super attack, super strength, maybe a prayer potion. And then we can have six food as well. Plus with the extra stats that we have now should be quite efficient. I am planning to also use thralls, which means I'm going to need to get them cosmic runes. But Serachnus does drop cosmic runes, so it shouldn't be too difficult. We've got ourselves the Book of the Dead here to help with that as well. We do have quite a bit of inventory space taken up, but I've also got to use these three grubby keys that I got from Temple Spiders a while ago. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just rambling while doing this. Um, so we're going to be using up the grubby keys as well. But then we will be obviously working on a bunch of Seratnus. 300 kills could take a while. I assume it's not going to take as long as it used to because, you know, we've got full blank dragon hide now. We've got much better stats. You know, we've even got the construction cape for really quick, um, I would say, banking, but we're a UAM. So restocking, uh, there's a lot of ways I can get around now. So that is super nice. I'm not going to be selling off any of these runes just yet. I'm going to be collecting them up while doing Seratnus. Obviously, Seratnus does not give nature runes. There is no way of getting nature runes from Seratnus, but that is okay. These are going to stack up with the Temple Spiders, which I'm going to be doing while I'm not streaming. Seratnus will be while I'm streaming. Uh, you get the idea. So we'll just be flipping back and forth between Temple Spiders and Seratnus, which should give us maybe some content in the middle to fill the gaps and not entirely just me grinding out melee stats while AFK, and although I am very much looking forward to that because after doing construction, it's going to be nice to have this well-earned break. Let's use up these three grubby keys and see what we get ourselves then. Some dart tips. Ooh, more Ranos. And lastly, some red dragon hide. Not the worst, honestly. Reasonably happy with that. Death storage once again. Kind of wasted 25k getting my stuff out so hastily. But it is what it is. Now we're going to do about a thousand fruit here. I really do appreciate this new update with the Tithe Farm. It makes it so much less painful than before. And that's going to wrap us up. With a thousand fruits we can go ahead and deposit them all into the sack. And get ourselves... Oh, it, it does a hundred at a time. I guess that works too. I'm going to dump all of these in and we'll see what we get from it. Hitting 74 farming here actually unlocks the final tier of fruit, meaning in the future, we'll get a ton more XP when we come here. And that's going to do it. Finished at nearly 75 farming and 350 points. Time to get ourselves the herb sack. Farmer Agricola, would you please provide me with the herb sack? Thank you very much. We also have 100 points towards the future for anything else we may need. Nice. Alright, quick pit stop to the death storage to grab ourselves the Ranas, as we are going to make a quick upgrade to the POH. With our prayer potions in hand, we are now going to upgrade the pool so that it also restores prayer as well as energy. Super convenient for the melee grind. All geared and ready for a grind of combat XP, we are going to be AFKing the life out of these spiddlies. Well, that snuck up on me. I was just making some potions for spiders and we got 69 herb lore. Grow up. Ladies and gentlemen, just a quick detour from our regular routine of training our attack. We are going to take a pit stop, and we are going to get ourselves a very wonderful level. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of XP on this guy, and I think it's going to take the next one. Uh, we got one person here because I didn't really announce it much. Not really too bothered about it, but we are going to get ourselves 99 hit points. So let's go ahead and kill this. I think that's going to do it. And there we go. That is 99 hit points on the Zayaman. 
not a massive level. I mean, hit points is cool, but like you just get it passively, so I don't really feel too accomplished with that. But that is another 99 on the account. I know you guys have been waiting for this one for a while because I left it on like 200k till 99 for the entire construction grind, and that must have been really annoying to see. We are also approaching 90 attack. I got 89 the other day and I wasn't paying attention, so I did not record it. I only realized about 20 minutes later that I even got the level, so. It's what happens when you're AFK in Temple Spiders. But anyway, that is 99 done. We have got ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 5 99s now. And soon to have many more. So let's head back to Temple Spiders and we'll keep this going. Get ourselves all the way to 99 tag. <laughs> Thank you. 